Visitors to Hawaii's Kilauea volcano are being treated to dramatic views of a lake of lava bubbling and splattering at its summit after it rose to one of its highest level in 42 years. Geologists say the rising lava lake marks a new period of activity from the 4,100 feet high volcano as the summit has repeatedly risen and shrank in the past few days. The lava lake in the crater at the summit is unusually high and has risen to within 16 feet of the rim that contains it. Scientists at the U.S. Geological Survey said it was part of a long-term inflation of the summit magma reservoir that has been ongoing since 2010. The lava overflowed onto the crater floor in May last year, raising the rim that confines the lake by 30 feet. Before that, the lava lake was less this high in 1974. The mountain has also been shaken with several tremors as the lava lake has hurled out spatters of molten rock. Meanwhile lava flows pouring from the pool. You? Oh? A crater in the eastern rift zone of Kalaya are pouring into the ocean at Kamoguna, creating two huge plumes of steam. Scientists insist the flows from this area pose no risk to nearby communities. Don Swanson, a research scientist at the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, said the eruptions at the summit it produced a colorful light display for visitors to Jagger Museum at Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. He said, people from the museum can see the incandescent lava and watch the spattering that's taking place along the edge of the lake. It's really quite pretty. Kilauea is one of the world's most active volcanoes and has been erupting continuously since 1983. It is currently erupting from two places. One is from the summit's Alamomai crater and the other is from the pool? You? Oh? Oh crater. Kilauea is currently the only of the active volcanoes monitored by the USGS that has an orange watch alert level. A statement on its website, however, made clear the volcano poses no immediate threat to communities in Hawaii. It urged visitors to the volcano to take care when viewing Laval flows, particularly where they are entering the ocean. It said, venturing too close to an ocean entry exposes you to flying debris created by the explosive interaction between lava and water. Also, the new land created is unstable because it is built on unconsolidated lava fragments and sand. This loose material can easily be eroded away by surf, causing the new land to become unsupported and slide into the sea. In several instances, such collapses, when started, have also incorporated parts of the older sea cliff. Finally, the interaction of lava with the ocean creates an acidic plume laden with fine volcanic particles that can irritate the skin, eyes, and lungs.